Hi everyone, my name is Louis Poco. And I'm Anne. And together we're the co-founders of Quash Wax Canvas. And today we're gonna teach you how to wax your own wax. canvas bag. Yeah. yeah. If you have old bags and you want to give it a new look, I think um, waxing it will make it a little bit different, right? Parang it will refresh the look. What happens when you wax your bag? It makes your bag uh, waterproof. So basically this started long ago, mga 15th century uh, in England. So that's, that's where it started. Sailors, they used to uh, wax, wax their, their sails uh, to make it waterproof. And it will pretty much look like this. An unwaxed cotton canvas and a waxed canvas. The main difference is, well, when you wax um, a cotton canvas, it makes it really more saturated. So, talagang magda-darken yung color niya. At the same time, it will give a more crisp texture. What's special about wax canvas in terms of aesthetic, it will have its own characteristic. Yan, makikita mo, may lalabas na creases and lines. Yeah. And that color gradient that makes it so photogenic yeah. and so pretty. Parang it looks vintage. Mm. So that's the, what the, the waxing does. Functionality naman, it makes it weatherproof. Not entirely waterproof, but it is resistant to light rain. These are the materials that you need to wax your canvas bag. So what we have here is first the wax. We have here some beeswax and some uh, paraffin. Then we have here a double boiler. This is where you melt the wax. Uh, the reason why we have to do a double boiler is because it's a if it's direct heat to the heat source. So we have to do a double boiler for safety. We have a certain mix of wax, but for, for today, we'll just show you it's a mix of paraffin and beeswax. The wax, beeswax and paraffin, you can buy them at Divisoria. You can actually look at the internet. There are different kinds of wax mixes, eh, and you can experiment which one works best for you. But for us, and for an easier tutorial, what we'll do is mix beeswax and paraffin. Probably one-third beeswax and then two-thirds paraffin. There are actually two methods of uh, waxing your bag. Well, means then you can just rub your wax on the bag and then you just blow dry it and maybe mix it. But with that effect, it's more difficult. It's tricky. It's eh. tricky. Siya. It's a bit lighter, but some, of, some people like that too. Yeah, uh, so we'll show you how we do it or how it's best to DIY the, the wax canvas. So first, uh, we melt the wax. We put the wax in a double boiler. And then literally paint over the wax on your old bag. And then after painting it over, it will <laughs> look white kasi since hindi pa melted yung wax. But there is another process to finish it, which is just a blow dryer. Or if you want it faster, uh, a heat for gun. For this case, we'll be using uh, for, a heat gun. For this tutorial, we'll be using a heat gun for mabilis. So the heat gun will re-melt the wax and really impregnate the canvas to give it a more even look. So it will melt and integrate within the canvas itself. Yeah, so this is the finished product with, and hopefully um, waxing your bag will give it a different look. As you can see, the color is now more saturated. And as you wear your bag, it will have its unique creases and lines, which is really the character of wax canvas. So every bag is different and 
Um, kasi yung line super unique siya. Even the coloring of your and the thickness of the application of the wax, if it's hand wax, iba iba talaga siya per per bag. So yeah. Now you have your own unique hand wax bag. Wax canvas is an old technology, and ngayon well, there technique. Nang, well, old, old technique, yeah, old technique. I mean, right now we already have like waterproof fabric, so that's how it disappeared. So it has its pros and cons. Uh, when you wax your bag, again, it becomes waterproof, but it makes it heavy. Yeah, it makes it heavy. So the heaviness niya would be comparable to leather. When you wax it, you can see that part na wax. Meron siyang character, so magkaka lines and creases, which is both a pro and a con depending on your personality. If you want perfection, if you want like super clean look, yeah. maybe wax canvas isn't for you. But if you're a guy who loves distressed stuff, who, lo who loves a uh, major vintage stuff and major yeah. rugged look, then, uh, this then is this is yeah. very good for you because. Uh, in fact, if it get, if your bag gets dirtier, it becomes more interesting. So the more you so, use it, yeah. the more interesting it becomes. Another pro is the saturation is really nice in terms of photographing items and bags. It comes off nice on the camera. So yun yun napun na namin. It's either you love wax canvas or you hate it. Wala <laughs> siyang middle ground. <laughs> Another coin is like any organic material. The storage is a little tricky, especially for the Philippines because it's so humid. If you store it ng matagal, it does tend to attract mildew. You would need to be patient enough to clean it and you would need to know how to clean something like this, wax canvas. And tricky lang yung maintenance ng wax canvas because you can't entirely wash it. It's mostly surface cleaning. You can't really laundry it because when you do, matatanggal yung wax. Parang yung kaming tinatanong, how do you maintain your wax canvas bags? First is try to store it in a dry, cool place so not moist. But the problem here locally, most most homes, are, the walls are moist because of our weather. In case that your bag develops mildew, what you can do is apply hydrogen peroxide, just damp cloth with hydrogen peroxide and tap it on the affected areas. It's actually that simple. But if you want us to clean your bag, we also offer that service. <laughs> you can just send it to our shop at Katipunan and we'll take care of it for you. All right, thank you so much, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our um, waxing your own canvas bag. And you get to see more wax canvas bags uh, in common room. You'll see our products there. I hope you get to get, try this at home. Just be extra careful. Uh, remember, use the double boiler to avoid and, and please do it outdoors. Yeah, so thank you so much. Bye. See you guys <laughs> in the next video.